Every team, every topic, everywhere, this is Believe. Hey guys, what's going on? This is Sarah from Fantagram, and you're listening to Zero Dark Nerdy. Boom. All right, ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to another episode of Zero Dark Nerdy, the world's most notorious pop culture podcast brought to you by the Believe Podcast Network, the number one podcast network for professionals. This is your boy, Brian, a.k.a. El Nino, and today I'm joined with... Mateo, a.k.a. Redacted, a.k.a. Mateo? That's all I got. <laughs> yeah, that's it. It's me. And so. it's your boy, Jadon, a.k.a. Please God, no more Billy Joel. <laughs> Today we are going to be talking about season two of The Boys, uh, just wrapped up on Amazon Prime. So some highlights, lowlights, uh, and then, you know, kind of like what we may see coming in season three. Uh, obviously, Jensen Eccles will be joining as Soldier Boy for season three, but Jerry hasn't been here in a while. We've missed you. Hello. So uh, we're going to let him kick off this episode. Well, I mean, the, these uh, these episodes are really, really fun to watch. Uh, this is a crazy show. Um it's loosely based on the comics. It's kind of following along the same lines, but they're breaking away from the source material in a lot of big ways. Um, as far as uh, episodes, we got right when it came out, we got one, two, and three uh, all together. I did like the uh, the translucent funeral that they finally did. <laughs> yeah, the glass casket. Uh, I I really enjoyed uh, like the the fake kind of interviews. Like Seth Rogen did like an interview for like talking about translucent. Like that was pretty funny. You see uh, Deep uh, flipping out at the water park, like just lost it. And, you know, he's rife. He's he's ready to be scooped up by this cult that's going to get him. Um, what, what, what was the drink of uh, the choice? Oh, uh, can I offer you a Fresca? Fresca. Who drinks that shit? I don't know. Weird. It's fucking delicious, man. Weird. Yeah, I haven't had a Fresca in forever. That's I might have to give it another shot. <laughs> but it, it man, it's like, it's delicious. Oh, oh, gotcha. Yeah. It's delicious. <laughs> It tastes uh, just like it sounds. <laughs> uh, we got to see the uh, the uh, uh, Daredevil character like try to come on the team, and then Homelander just beat him the fuck up. Um, that was really fun. Uh, they they keep mentioning Tech Knight, which uh, I can't wait to see. Uh, he'll probably pop up uh, in season three. Mm. He's just like a um, Iron Man, Bruce Wayne kind of collage. He doesn't have any powers, but he's got some cool stuff. He's got money. Yeah. Um, and then uh, the talking gills, uh, that was that was really funny. I thought Pat Oswalt was going to be like an actual character, but they they let him in there with uh, being the the trippy voice of the gills, uh, talking some sense into the deep. I guess I don't know. This, Serenading see, the deep. Is, this shit is everywhere. I could just talk about like all the wacky things. But what did you guys like about the earlier episodes? Matt, did you catch any of the early ones? <laughs> it's all right. It's all right. I'm, I'm here for you guys. I'm here to catch it all in. Like, well, we do know. appreciate it, man. So, yeah, the 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 gill scene with the deep because in season one that was probably one of the most disturbing scenes for me is when the girl was right like, fingering right. his gills, which was uh, absolutely terrible. Um, them crashing into the into the whale. I can't remember oh, the whale's yeah, name, yeah. but uh, you know, as soon as Butcher comes out and his token fucking diabolical. <laughs> <laughs> but it was you know, to me, I really enjoyed this season. Uh, the family was a huge, huge theme this season. Whether if it was you know Homelander as well as Stormfront, and he you know trying to be a dad to his kid. Yeah. Of course, like Billy kind of being away for an episode and then coming back, but trying to push Huey away. Uh, you know, just kind of like the rest of the members trying to find their way from the seven whether if it's a train and then the, the deep with the cult yeah and then light storm or not light storm what is it storm front storm front light storm storm front all this shit kind of blends yeah. in together you know her kind of story as well and then you know kind of seeing Maeve too coming to her own uh homelander outed uh, outed her without her consent right and then had all this like everything that she was promoting was all like rainbows and gay and shit and like you let's know, cash in on this now. <laughs> right like, right that's so terrible yeah, it was. It was. But, you know, to see them all kind of come together, especially at the end, the, the fight. Name is Stormfront, uh, damn. Yeah, Stormfront. Yeah. <laughs> so, uh, I was worried, though, because for a second there, I thought we lost Kamiko. That was yeah, scary as yeah, shit. That was, uh, that was scary. Uh, I did like the, when talking about the earlier episodes, like we, we find out that uh, Compound V is, you know, 
uh, injected and yeah. it's not like superheroes aren't just born. I did get that far. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> but, uh, the whole thing with, uh, uh, Kamiko's brother and then, uh, Stormfront fucking him up. Yeah. And, uh, that was just her, um, you could see that at the end, you know, of the season where she's finally taken out her revenge on this fucking horrible person. Yeah. The NFL season is in full swing. You might not be at the games this year, but you can still be in on the action at Bet Online. My pick this week, after going 1 0 last week by taking Cincinnati plus the nine points, just barely covering against the Colts, I'm going to go with the, the Saints getting minus seven and a half against the Carolina Panthers. So, from game spreads and totals to team player and coaching props bet online gives you more options to wager than any place online and there is always the online casino as well it never closes so head to betonline.ag today to take advantage of all the great sign up bonuses again that's betonline.ag and sign up today bet online your online sports book experts it says a lamplighter i thought was an interesting uh <laughs> you know kind of dynamic we had the guy who played uh did you say White Lantern? Lamp, no, lamp lighter. Lamp lighter. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> well, he's he's supposed to be you know, like a, a a take on Green Lantern, but it's he's more fire based. Yeah, mm. but uh, that was a really fun uh, way to switch it up. I was, was just watching X two just the other day, right? And you got Pyro and Iceman, and and now he's Pyro. Yeah, um, that was really fun. Um, that was kind of gross that he was like the cleanup man like this is your punishment for for doing that we're just going to make you keep burning people right right (laughs) you can live that's really fucked up agreed um you know besides that that that's pretty much kind of my take on it um i said the mave thing the the head exploding shit was crazy the entire season you know as far as trying to figure out who it was and we got to see who it was in the final episode and I'm still trying to connect the pieces for that too. So, well, they, what's really fun is I can't remember her name. The one in the asylum that was messing everybody up. That was just like crushing people. Right. Cindy, Cindy was her name. Um, I kept thinking that it would, my, it, well, people's heads were exploding before we saw Cindy, right. but it had to be somebody with the same kind of powers. And we never saw anybody like that until we actually saw it in the finale. Yeah. Um, I can't remember her name, but she's all, she's in the newest modern warfare as uh farah i believe is her character name really? same same actress yeah huh. looks just like her my daughter actually pointed out she's like that's the chick from call of duty yeah she's the running candidate s- that's yeah. gonna win something it's getting vaught further and further into politics yes um and it's really fun because or not fun but you know what i mean it's it's interesting how she was so against the superheroes and the movement and stuff. And now she has a leg up on, but she's also a super and she's probably working for Vaught at the same time. Right. So it's, it's more intrigue and that's, that plays into butcher's mentality of like, all right, we tried this, the, the, the good way, the clean way, the clean way. And it literally blew up in our faces, (laughs) faces blew up. (laughs) (laughs) Um, And that's when, you know, and then, the the last episode he was just all out no we're just gonna kill all of them yeah uh, what do you guys oh my god what do you guys think of black noir black noir is awesome <laughs> i was just gonna bring him up i love black noir i don't think we get enough of them there is a, a, name a, a theory yeah. out there that he is the son of uh john carlo esposito's character yeah so that's a fan theory i don't i don't know how attached that is to the actual comic books but yeah, we need more black noir. We don't. We get little little bits and pieces of him, but you know, we got no backstory. We kind of see he, as far as like abilities, he's kind of more of a Deadpool, but without speaking, right? Because you, you know, he regenerates, he can fight, he can do all that. We but. definitely took that blast at the beginning, right? Uh, the first episode, we uh, see him later on with his mask off, but he still had the scars from that. Yeah, so it's not like he's immortal or anything, but he's just really, really durable, and he can regenerate. Um, it's very different from the comics in the comics. Uh, it's black noir is actually a clone or uh, a twin of Homelander. Oh, wow. Okay. Mm. And so they've, they, they weaved some of that in with the shapeshifter guy scene where it was like him with himself for a minute and <laughs> right. kind of weird. And, but they're going to, they're going to use the sun in that role. Okay. Instead of having a Homelander clone, they're going to focus more on the sun. Cause I don't think the sun was around that much in the comic. 
Right, right. So yeah, I mean so that's that's Wicked one of the twist differences. At the end of season one with the with the sun. Right? Yeah, that's, yeah. And I got that far too. Yeah, as far as like, <laughs> season one. But I always looked at back Black Noir. Like he always reminded me of Storm Shadow from GI Joe. Oh, right. nice, right? Yeah, <laughs> uh, like how he's a superhero. I yeah. love that episode Superpower. where he, he walked up to the analyst and was just handed her the thing that just said butcher on it. Yeah, <laughs> she's like, okay, I'll help you find him today. <laughs> <laughs> All day it took her. It was yeah. really that was a funny episode. Yeah, that's the thing. He doesn't have to say shit, but he still has <laughs> right. like yeah, that personality. Right, <laughs> right. <laughs> Yeah. Man of little words. But yeah, I mean, as far as, you know, for season three, I am interested to see what they're going to do. Uh, Jensen Eccles is going to play, uh, what was it, Ranger Boy or Soldier Sol- Boy? Soldier Boy. It's which their, is their Captain take on America. Captain America. Soldier Boy's in this? Yeah. <laughs> Soldier Boy, tell him. <laughs> <laughs> Obviously, some more Black Noir. Um, and then, uh, you know, the tension with the seven. Uh, you know, they got the proof to kind of show the world that Homelander is a piece of shit. And they're going to hold on to it so he doesn't fuck them over or kill them. Right. But obviously, there's going to be tons of tension with the seven. Yeah, he's going to flip. He's going to flip out eventually. Yeah. Like, I remember the scene in, you know, this season where he, he he hesitated for a moment and he just, you saw him just lasering through at a giant crowd of people yeah. just without any mercy at all. And then it snaps back and he was just, you know, daydreaming. Yeah. But <laughs> we're going to see some shit like that for real coming very oh, soon. Yeah. Would you equate it to like maybe a, like a, Multiverse Superman type thing, like well, when he turns on everybody and right. like, they don't know what the fuck to do because he's so powerful. Exactly, like yeah. he's he's gonna get there, and yeah. it's gonna take him a minute because he still at this moment still relishes you know the love from the people. Um, you saw in the in the last episode that's why he's putting up with them, yeah, and you know letting them kind of call the shots. Now they've got something over him, but he still cares about what people think, and the more and more you know. Especially if they, you know, mess with the relationship between the son and him. Like right. If they distance him or if they can't find him, like that's going to drive him, you know, crazier and crazier. Yeah. It's coming. Oh, know? yeah. It's, <laughs> I, thought, I thought that scene, he actually like did that. And right. it wouldn't surprise me at all. Yeah. Then it was him daydreaming. So, but yeah, I think eventually, mm-hmm. I mean, but the thing is, how are you going to stop him? That's that's going to be the biggest story. And I don't know how they do it in the comic books. I'm sure they'll probably divert from that a little bit. Yeah. But, you know, the showdown's definitely going to happen. I don't think season three, though. I think this is probably, if I had to predict how long it would run, I would probably guess five seasons. Maybe six, but yeah, they, I'm, I'm going with five. They can get they can get it all done in five. I think they even said that they were going to limit it. Yeah. Just because yeah. you can't keep going without the other source material. I mean, I guess you can. Right. That's what I was about to ask. Is it Game like, of Thrones. Right. Right. <laughs> Are they graphic novel novels or... Uh, Straight up comics. That no, they were, they were comics. Okay. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah. They were by Dynamite Entertainment, which was actually owned by DC. And then they just ended up just not finishing it. Yeah. Hmm. Um, Here's your chance. Yeah. yeah. Yep. I mean, well, they do have a new one out now that you could find, and it's called The Boys uh, Becky, where it's, it's uh, Butcher's wife is more involved. So, kind of like a prequel. So, I know they started doing that. Mm-hmm. And I got a couple issues of those, and they're not bad. Well, they're going to do, uh, I, I heard them talk about it and I forgot about it, but they said that there's going to be a movie uh, talking about what Butcher was doing between season one and two. Oh, wow. And it's coming out by itself huh. uh, after the show ends. Uh, this, well, I guess it is, it has ended, but it should be coming out soon then. Hmm. But it's just it's just extra material that like Lion King one and a half. (laughs) (laughs) Well, you can imagine. I mean, they probably didn't, you know, film any extra stuff. It's probably just, you know, footage from filming the season that they couldn't use. And they just flipped it into a two hour movie, probably. Yeah. I don't know. I don't know how long it's good guess, Jerry. Good guess. I mean, he's got, you know, Carl Urban has some time on his hands, you know, ever since he saw his fate. Uh, in what was it, Ragnarok, oh, where yeah. he got the machine guns from Texas. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Texas. No, he's he's great and everything, man. He was yeah. he was good in that that Judge Dredd re, uh, reboot. That reboot that is him. incredibly underrated. He's uh, he's good as uh, Bones McCoy. Um, Scourge was really cool. And yeah, then, and then Lord of the Rings. Yeah. Oh, and he was also in uh, 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 Chronicles of Riddick. Oh, yeah. Yeah, that's right. He had the that's mega right. mullet in that one. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. 
<laughs> we got anything else? I don't know. Oh, did we, we didn't mention uh, Kamiko ripping that dude's face off. Yes. That was the most brutal thing that I've seen yeah. in I've seen this some gory season. shit in my lifetime, but that's up there. That's some gross shit. The the fucking what's his name? Love muscle or whatever. <laughs> How can I forget about God, that? That was fucking gross. <laughs> 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 it's just, it's just this worm thing wrapped around uh, mother's milk's like neck and just choking him out. And then you realize it's some Russian dude's dick. Yeah. <laughs> it's so gross. <laughs> I can't wait to watch. <laughs> <laughs> well, be ready for it. <laughs> oh, my God. Um, I loved that when they were doing the movie, like they were filming the fake movie, the Dawn of the Seven. Yeah, like they were like, oh, you know, the the new Joss rewrites like looking great for this. Yeah, <laughs> like yeah, they really try to pull in everything they could from you know existing uh, superhero. Oh yeah, stuff. and the guy I can't think of his name, but the one that's playing the director, he was also in. He's been in a bunch of shit. You, he's like one of those guys you see everywhere, but you don't know his name. But I thought he was great as yeah. a director. I, I do remember him being in Wolf of Wall Street. Um, he was the one that had the fucking toupee or whatever. Yeah. Yeah. So that's, that's the one thing I remember. Is him that from. The, that's the guy that's like telling, uh, a train. He's like, no, no, this, uh, we really appreciate your rewrites. Yeah. <laughs> You're going to do this. <laughs> <Yep>. <laughs> that, that whole, that whole a train thing. It's like, it looks like it's <laughs> sunset for a train. Or so, <laughs> some shit that, like the lines they made him say were so ridiculous. We're going to talk about how Stormfront's a Nazi. <laughs> <laughs> There's that. A Nazi that doesn't age. Like Stormfront. Like it, it was right in our faces. I mean, the, right. the, the comic character even was a man. It was a com- the comic book character was a man, but he was still like made by the Nazis, you know, before Operation Paperclip brought them all back over to America to work okay. for us. Uh, and then Soldier Boy was our first effort. Yeah into yep. making our own homegrown. And know. apparently in the comics, there's like three iterations of soldier boy. Cause he does grow old. Yeah. So apparently the Jensen Eccles character will be obviously the newer iteration of soldier boy. Yeah. And they're going to, that guy, he, he show wrote or show ran supernatural. So we're going to, we're only going to see more and more of the characters from that. Like Je- uh, Jeffrey Dean Morgan is probably going to pop up. Yeah. He, he was actually in one of the, uh, whatever the show is afterwards where they talk about the show as a super fan. Yeah. Yeah. But he uses talking a- dead. Yeah. <laughs> kind of. <laughs> same. Yeah. Same kind it's of the thing, same yeah. concept, but socially distant. Yeah. There, but well, I really liked that episode where we delved into like the, like Frenchie's uh, flashbacks. Yeah. Of, his like, backstory the night, of the night that, you know, Mallory's kids got torched or whatever. Like mm-hmm. that's a, that's a really, really good episode. You really learn a lot about Frenchie and his motivations. We just knew him as like <laughs> this gun the, running the weapons gun guy, fucking drug the sergeant at guy. arms. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, that those that episode's really cool. Yeah, I like that one. I mean, to me, there wasn't really a bad episode this year, mm-hmm. uh, in my opinion. I don't think there was a bad episode last season either. I think that the writing's just incredibly consistent. They keep you going. Uh, I know a lot of people complain that they didn't have all eight episodes at the same time. I honestly didn't mind it. You know, they do that with the Mandalorian. That's how it used to be back in the day. You'd have to wait every week. So, I mean, I I like it better that way because that way, because I mean, I will binge straight through it, but then I'll like forget a lot of stuff too. Right. Well, if you wait a little bit, you can. Yeah. But everybody (laughs) wants to watch it now. Right. And that's, I'm actually doing that with Lovecraft Country. I wanted it to be over so I could actually binge through. I saw the first episode of my daughter. It was actually pretty good. It was slow. That's what I hear. Until the very end. That's what I keep hearing. Well, the first episode. Oh, gotcha. Uh, I tried to watch the first episode. And you got bored. Yeah. 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 But it picked up like that. Oh, yeah. And then once it picked up, it just kept going. And every, I'll finish it, I promise. Every episode (laughs) is different, man. It's, I think I'm up to like episode five. Okay. I think the finale was yesterday. So. I think so. Yeah. So I'm, we'll I'm see. I'm burning through Shit's Creek. Yeah, that's so it's good. It's so good. <laughs> it's, it's like 20 minutes. Show. Yeah. I know, I know. It's, it's so quick, easy to do. And you, oh, it's great. David. That's another <laughs> episode. <laughs> David. David. We got to talk about Shit's Creek. Oh, yeah. We got to definitely have a Shit's Creek episode. There's a whole Instagram page of just Moira's vocabulary. Uh-huh. God, it's amazing. So good. <laughs> So I wonder who came up with that. If that was her or the writers came up with that. I, I got to give her some credit. Yeah. On that. Yeah. Cause I mean, she's a phenomenal she, actress. She, put, she does it so well. And when she's with Levy, I mean, it, they do, they must have like seven different movies together. Yeah. They're great. Yeah. They're really great together. Like best in show. Best in show. Best. You know, uh, David is Eugene's son. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. And, and the girl at the uh, restaurant is, is the, the daughter. Oh, uh, right. Right. Yeah. Uh, 
Is it David Levy? Dan Levy. Yeah, Dan. Dan, Dan Levy. Levy. Yeah, that's a sister. Really? Yeah. yeah. To Lila at the thing? I, I think so. I don't think that's it, but something like that. The, cafe? Something like that. All right. <laughs> the tropical cafe <laughs> with the world's biggest menu. <laughs> God. We definitely have to do a shit screen yeah. episode. Coming soon. Yo, David. I love his name. <laughs> Rolling shit. Yeah. 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 <laughs> it's the best it's shit. perfect. It is. He, he went all the way with that shit. <laughs> I loved when shit. they they won all the when they won all the awards and then the the reporters could wouldn't say it on TV like they were like whatever creek or like S Creek. Oh they, went, God. they weren't saying it on TV. It was hilarious. Unbelievable. They won like they swept the Emmys. Yep. <laughs> yep. Nine for nine. So and, and I, honestly, I think it's well deserved. It's just such a great show, especially during these times. And we'll let's let's save some of this for the episode. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Well, they're taking all the other shows off. So. Yeah, that's true. It's good. That's true. Well, that's going to wrap it up for this episode of The Boys. Be sure to check out our website, popculturepodcast.com, courtesy of our good friends from Zipster. That is Z-I-B-S-T-E-R. As always, a big thank you to the man that helps keep us out of jail, Andrew Newman, attorney at law for Newman. all your civil, criminal, and traffic court needs. You can find him at attorneynewman.com. As always, big thank you to the Believe Podcast Network. And uh, be sure to follow us, social media, Facebook, Instagram. We're on TikTok now. I mm. need to figure out how to use it. <laughs> so I'm I just put episodes on it. with my daughter. So. <laughs> yep. Jordan's dancing. We yeah, got, he'll do the dancing. Yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, <laughs> yeah by yeah. far. I'm not doing the dancing. He can dances. get the choreo- choreography down. <laughs> and as always, like, subscribe uh, means the world to us. And we've actually picked up a lot of listeners from Germany. So mm. I don't know how you say thank you in German. Oh. Guten Tag. So That's there we word. go. For our, same thing. <laughs> <think so. laughs> to all our international fans out there, we appreciate the love. So, yeah, we will uh, Dank- catch Dankeschön. you on the next one. Dankeschön. 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 <laughs> now they're going to be like, damn it, fuck these guys. Guys, I can't even say it right. We love you. We're learning. We're learning. Stick That's with right. Us. That's right. Stick with us, and we'll see you next week. Peace. Yeah. Yeah. Victory. And anger management. Fuck anger management. Thank you for listening to Believe. You can show support to your host by subscribing to the show and giving us a five-star rating on your preferred platform. Check us out at Believe.com and search for B-L-E-A-V on YouTube. Hey, it's Michelle Beadle. That's right, the Michelle Beadle. You're welcome. You love talking about sports. I love talking about sports. You know the only thing cooler than talking about sports? Sports and right now, all your favorite sports are on Sirius XM. I'm talking every NFL game, every game from the NBA, NHL, MLB, every NASCAR race, golf major, major conference college sports, and all the top games in the WNBA. If it gets your heart pumping, it's on Sirius XM. To so start your free, free, free trial of Sirius XM today, visit SiriusXM.com/slash believe.